Hi guys, uh, today we're going to take a look at Warzone 2, which has been rebalanced in the previous two uh, patches of the rebalancing project. And I think this place is pretty much almost there. It's it's uh, getting much, much better. I think uh, the profit is pretty good. The experience, you know, it's kind of beaty. It's not amazing, but this place is definitely infinitely more huntable than it was, you know, a couple of months ago. So definitely big shout out to Tipsoft for taking care of it. Um, it's not going to be amazing, but it's, it's you know, at least some sort of alternative respawn, especially if some of the monsters might be boosted. So anyway, let's take a quick look at the results that I was able to get. So I was here on my level 590 EK. You can see the equipment on the right. I don't have like full best in slot. I, I was missing Falcon Greaves and uh, the Spirit Fawn Ring. So, you know, there's still a little bit of room for improvement, but nevertheless, I almost had full best in slot. Uh, I was able to get about 4.3kk experience raw, this was my first time here, I'm sure you can get more than that, and I think on a higher level, uh, as you scale a bit more, you can probably push that a little bit higher, I, I expect this place has a ceiling of maybe 5kk raw at a slightly higher level, something like that, uh, the loot you can get is somewhere around 900k per hour, which again I think can be bumped up a bit if um, if you practice this space place a little bit better. With regards to requirements, I, I recommend this level for 500 plus for axe and sword because of, you know, the powerful ice weapon. For club, unfortunately, I think you probably need at least level 600. And honestly, even at level 600 with the soul crusher or the resizer, um, it's going to be pretty rough. So I, I don't know if I would really recommend this place for club that much. Uh, maybe when club gets a free imbue slot, best in slot ice weapon, then definitely they could check this place out as well. Overall tier rating I would give it right now is somewhere around a B tier spot. So again, not your not a meta spawn, but it's actually huntable now. Uh, worth a visit, worth doing the beast cherries for sure. Uh, difficulty I give it around 7 out of 10. Um, it's not terribly difficult but also not easy it's you know somewhere yeah it's a seven out of ten for beast jerry you'll need about 12 and a half hours for lost berserker magma crawler and the weeper approximately 16 hours for the lava golem and uh yeah you'll need rapid respawn and for infected weeper and focusing those specifically as you can see even even um hunting here now so i was able to get like 30 of them per hour so it's it's really not Really not that worth, in my opinion, trying to do those solo. I would definitely focus those on Rapid Respawn. Moving on, recommend level 500, 600 plus. Like mentioned, you'll need Bigfoot Burdens Quest and Warzone Access. You'll need an Ice Weapon. And this place can be effectively hunted by Knights and Paladins. Uh, Paladins will find it a little bit annoying to get the Magma Crawlers to uh, come to you because your range success is weaker. But it's, it's I think it's manageable. Uh, I think, yeah, Paladin's probably going to do quite all right here. Um, Druid and Sorcerers. Maybe, eh, I, 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 don't, I don't really see it how it would work, but maybe, maybe a high enough level with avalanches could maybe make it work. A uh, duo, I think, yeah, I think maybe as well. I think it would be duo, doable, like a EK plus someone else duo, so the EK can't do the range success, if someone else can do some extra damage. I think the respawn would be able to keep up, so yeah, maybe consider a duo here as well. Uh, for recommended imbuements, all standard imbuements uh, and probably a fire defensive imbu. You can see it's 27% fire damage. So if you can get fire fire prot imbu, uh, I, I would probably try and fit it in, but wouldn't wouldn't freak out about it too much if you can't fit it in. And yeah, obviously you'll need to prioritize physical protection for by fire protection. With regards to supplies per hour, you'll probably want about 400 supremes, about 2,500 strong mana potions per hour, something along these lines. Charms, are, it's probably not applicable. Uh, it's probably a beast jerry spot, so you'll do your beast jerry and leave. So I wouldn't really worry about charms too much. Uh, I'm sure it's going to be some combination of like freeze and low blow uh, if you do decide to put on some charms. For the wheel, you probably want to, sorry, mass cooldown reduction. You are going to be boxing here. Um, so yeah, probably want that. Um, yeah, your executioner's throw or sorry, grand wheels will probably also be okay. You don't really need the gift of life here. You shouldn't really be in any immediate danger of dying. And the character you'll see in the video is level 590 EK with 128 axe skills, loyalty, and no praise and no charms active. So let's just take a quick look at the route. It's going to be very basic, right? It's literally just, uh, you know, you just go in, do a pull somewhere here, pull here, pull somewhere here, pull here, pull here, pull here, pull here. Pull here pull here. Uh, that's something along the lines that I was doing, super basic obviously, and then you've got a teleport, I think, in this spot here. So you just go in the teleport, it takes you back to the start and you restart. Like, I mean, this is this is one of the sort of easiest loops you can do with, with the teleporter, super basic, just a few pulls. Uh, so yeah, it's very comfortable. So yeah, overall, I would say this place is okay with all the changes to the numbers and the mechanics. Uh, 
yeah it's huntable now it's not it's not absolutely awful like it used to be so definitely worthwhile uh, completing your beast cherry on like a 600 ek here um not going to be you know not going to rock your world of how amazing it is or anything like that but it's um it's a successful rework in my opinion more or less uh could see with you know tiny numerical bump and numbers still i think if if i were balancing it i would probably give it another five to ten percent experience boost if you could push that 5kk raw here more easily that would be a lot better um obviously they don't want it to scale too well for like a level 1000 but i think it probably wouldn't anyway so i would like to see a few more percent percentage increase in here but probably not going to see that if we're being honest so this is probably what you're going to get anyway thank you very much for watching guys and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye